Good afternoon folks, what a wet and horrible first day back of 2023. Um, anyway, here we are, we have a Renault Traffic 1.6 DCI 115 business, so six speed manual gearbox, 1600 diesel, it is a Euro 5 model, um, and it's in pretty good all round condition to be fair, I think it's two owners, it'll say it, it'll state it exactly in the advert. Um, so, uh, a double check cross reference to that. Um, but in good overall condition, there's a couple of cosmetic bits I'll point out to you as we go around so you get an idea of exactly what it is. But quite a handy little van. So, it's got uh, was it six dog cages in the back, uh, it's got some safes in the floor. Um, it was used by a security sort of uh, dog handler. Um, so Let's give you an idea exactly what it is that you're buying. Looking up there on the roof, pretty straight and tidy, isn't it? There's your all the central vent for the back for the dogs, but pretty straight and tidy up there on the roof. Um, windscreen, now it's bloody well started to rain, hasn't it? Um, battling the weather, but um, there are no major stone chips or cracks in the windscreen, okay? Uh, coming down onto your bonnet, the bonnet is in good all round condition as well. Again, no major stone chips or cracks. I mean, uh, cracks, Jesus. Uh, uh, any major stone chips, a couple of minor little bits, um, but these are really, really minuscule sort of uh, stone chips. Front of the vehicle, your front grills, front of the front bumper, etc., all in good order. Your passenger side headlamp unit, again, that's in good order. Your passenger side front bumper corner, all in good order with no scuffing and if we look down the passenger side of the vehicle in general it's just been caught slightly on the rear arch i will point it out to you when we get around there but in general very very straight tidy example to be fair you look at it you wouldn't expect it to have done the mileage it's done and it drives very well indeed as well driver side headlamp unit that's all good driver side front bumper corner again that's all good with no scuffs again looking down the driver's profile of the van very straight and tight. There's a bit of lack of peel on the driver's door. I pointed out to you when we get around there. But um, again, very straight and tidy this side. Driver's side front wing with side repeater, all good. Your uh, factory steel wheel with um, non-factory hubcaps. Uh, looks to be a rapid tyre, so that's a budget tyre. However, <coughs> loads of tyre tread depth left on there, as you can see. Your driver's side mirror unit is in good order. Both the mirrors on this side, again, good order. Driver's side door glass is in good order as well. Coming down onto your driver's side door. So it has got this like lacquer peel here. I, I think we can get it smart repaired, okay? Um, so we should be able to just paint that bit. So assume that that will be done as part of the sale. Okay, now if I just stand back slightly so you get a good aspect of the driver's side of the vehicle. Um, yeah, she's a tidy old bus, to be quite frank with you. Getting down low, check out your seals. Those are in nice, clean, tidy, unabused condition, as is your plastic protective strip down the side of it. Quarter on this side, your mid-quarter. Uh, we've got a little mark here, which, again, I think a bit of teak and polish will actually come out. Um, but the vast majority of that quarter, as I say, is in really good condition. Rear quarter this side, again, very straight, tidy condition. We have a minor little scratch there which i think will touch in um driver side steel wheel is a uh, obviously a factory steel non-factory hubcap we have another budget tire that tire has loads of tire tread depth I suggest that's recently been replaced and then looking down the profile hopefully you can see so even on a pretty grotty day like today you can see there's a nice reflection in the white paintwork so that always gives you an indication that the vehicle has been had some form of care in its time when it's still got a nice shiny paintwork to it um, driver's side rear bumper corner is all good with no scuffs we have a minor minor little scuff there on the actual door hinge your upper light unit is in good order as well as are all of your corner plastics rear fog light and reverse light is all good and then coming round to the rear end of the vehicle, as you can see, we have a 50-50 split on the rear barn doors. Barn doors are actually in pretty good condition, I've got to say. There's no major dents or dings. We have high-level brake light up here, which is all good. 
We have a little bit of a touching that's required there. It's just been caught slightly there, but nothing major. However, if I bring down the camera along the door edges, you can see um, you've got your normal little mark there. That's where people close the door in the incorrect fashion and it just dents it with the hinge on the inside. But overall, very, very tidy, I have to say. Rear bumper, again, in good overall condition. You can see you've got factory parking sensors. Both of your rear reflectors are all looking good. We have a bit of a scuff there on the bumper. Obviously it's wet, but it's um, pretty good overall, I have to say. Opening up the inside. <coughs> so yeah, dog cages. You know, if you're looking at dog cages, how much these things are gonna cost you to get done, don't you? Um, so why not buy a van with it all done? So we have three smaller cages on top and we have two bigger cages down here. So an ideal dog walkers van, really, let's face it. And I think you've even got more uh, space behind these cages to add additional ones in, should you wish. Um, inside of the rear doors, whilst there are minor scratches and marks, there's nothing major going on there. Just normal wear and tear that you would associate with a vehicle. Looking down the passenger side of the vehicle, again, you'll notice a bit of a reflection in the paintwork, which just indicates it has seen some element of cleaning and polishing in its time. But obviously we have just fully valeted it ourselves. Um, rear bumper corner this side, overall good condition. You've got the lightest of marks there, but nothing major. Light unit there is all good, as is your upper light unit. Coming around here, your upper rear quarter, that's all looking good. Your sliding door rail is in good condition as well and your lower quarter this side um, has got this mark on it here. He's caught it ever so slightly. He's caught the sliding door, caught that arch there. It's not a big deal. It is a fairly simple, smart repair job to be fair. And we can get that done on it for you if you're interested. Um, factory steel, uh, non-factory hubcap, budget tire. That tire matches your other side. Very good tire tread depth on there as well. Sliding door this side, again, good overall condition we have a minor mark there but again i think that might be just a t-cut maybe a little bit of a touching sliding door handles are good as is your passenger door handle and lock we have a minor minor little marks here but nothing major and then your passenger door glass and the passenger door itself is in good order your mirror unit on this side upper and lower all good and your passenger side front wing this side all looking good we have a budget tire on the front here which matches the one on the driver's axle uh, non-factory hubcap steel wheel and tire tread depth all looking pretty good as well now opening it up from the passenger side on your sliding door okay a few things to note your door shuts are nice and clean and tidy your sliding door rubbers are in good condition your um, entry step not looking too bad either as is your sliding door rail and then we've got this set up in the back here so for starters there's been a window added to your bulkhead uh, other side of your dog cages um, and then we've got this set up here now as I say, this gentleman's in the security business, so it may it may be of use to you, it may not be, but uh, this is all lockable. So this opens, slides down, can pull this out. I think we've missed that one when it comes to valeting, but we'll get that clean for you. But as you can see, pretty handy drawer. And we have these additional little safes as well, um, of which um, I can't open them now because I haven't got the stuff with me. But um, yeah, kind of little safes there. <laughs> Obviously, if none of that is any good, you could remove it and add additional dog cages if you wanted to. Again, all of this, it would be sad to see it happen, but if you just want a cheap panel van, buy it as it is, take the dog cages out, you'll sell those. Take all of that out, you'll sell those as well. You've got yourself a cheap little panel van, really, haven't you? <clears throat> and then, Passenger side door card. Again, door card is in clean and tidy condition. Your door shuts, a 
again, nice and clean and tidy. Your entry seals and plastics are in good condition. Here's your fuel filler flap for your diesel. Your passenger side flooring, again, clean and tidy. Glove box, all good. Dashboard fascias all looking good. Air vents working fine. Top of the dashboard, nice and clean and tidy. Your uh, cab um, roof is all good. And your passenger seating in the front here, again, in overall good condition. Little snag in the trim here and here, but I would say in overall pretty good condition, to be fair. Uh, quickly open up under the bonnet as we go around. So bonnet just to the right of the Renault badge. Uh, easy little thingy-majig to open up the bonnet. And then there's your overall view underneath the bonnet. Um, and let's have a look under here. So we have fuse box over here. We have battery. We have uh, brake reservoir. We have power steering reservoir. Forget the creamy liquid around here. It's what the valetas spray on it to make the engines tidy. It just evaporates. Um, so uh, yeah, we haven't spilled a pint of milk there or anything. Cool, that's looking clean and tidy as well. We have oil dipstick there. Have a look down there. You can see she's pretty clean and tidy, isn't she? There's no signs of anything, any drama going on. Uh, windscreen wash. Oh, and obviously get topped up. Air boxes there as well. Bonnet bolts all looking original. Um, yeah, just overall good. Most of the mileage on this was motorway miles. The chap worked in London in the week and then commuted back at the weekends. So um, a lot of it's just commuter motorway mileage. Uh, driver's door card, again, clean and tidy. We have electric windows, electric mirrors, door shuts, all good. As are your entry sills and plastics. Even the driver's side floor is surprisingly not too worn. Pedal rubber's all good. And driver's side seat, so we've got the normal wear on the traffic Vivaro seats. Um, it's a fairly simple fix. So I'm sure we can get that sorted out on it for you. Uh, and then we've got steering wheel, a little bit of wear on the steering wheel, nothing major. Um, we have dashboard illumination, headlamp levelers, electronic stability program, and parking sensors. Vent this side all looking good. <coughs> it has done 134,583 miles. Fires up fine, only warning light you've got on is to say I've got a door open at the moment and the handbrake is on. We've got the uh, pretty cool uh, Renault touchscreen uh, navigation system in it. So let's see what we've got. We've got FM and AM. Uh, we have home screen. Hang on a second. Here we go. Home screen. So um, yeah, as I say, you've got Bluetooth telephone, Bluetooth music. You've got um, factory satellite navigation on it as well. Not sure why we're in dark mode. Um, but um, yeah, really nice system to have. Again, vents on this side and this side are all looking good. Well, oh, I've put it into dark mode, haven't I? Um, map, agree. Agree. They're as slow as me in the morning, these systems are. There we go. Map all lights up, as you'd expect. Normal blower fans. No, you don't have a heated rear window. Uh, I think it's for heated mirrors. We have 12 volt uh, power here. We have cup holder there that's been forgotten to be clean, so we'll have to get that done. Hazard warning lights, central locking, six speed manual gearbox. You have eco mode. Um, if you press that button in, you get your eco come on on your dash. That makes the van slightly less powerful, but more economical. Uh, and then in between the seats and stuff, all clean and tidy. Uh, and there we go. There we go. There are 60 odd photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com. Now, this van is not going to last very long, ladies and gentlemen. For starters, there's no VAT on it. It's a clean, tidy example. Yes, there's a couple of minor cosmetics, that little bit on the arch, a little bit on the driver's door, a little bit on the driver's seat. Um, but overall, very tidy van, drives very well, and is kitted out nicely if you're into your dogs. Um, so, um, 
yeah, feel free to check out who you're buying off online. We have reviews, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn and Instagram. Thanks very much. There is 15 minutes of your life you're never going to get back, but if you are interested in buying this van, it gives you a very good indication of exactly what it is that you buy. Cheers.